Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, using cosine rule to find the missing angle. All right, so when do we use the cosine rule to find the missing angle? It's when we have three sides and one unknown angle. All right, because we can't use the sine rule because with the sine rule we at least need to know one angle. So in this question, I've asked you guys to find the missing angle. So the best way to go about this is the same thing. First step is always label your sides and angles that you're going to need to work with. So in this one, I'm going to call theta as angle A, which means my side opposite is going to be little a. And my two sides are going to be B and C, which is those two. And I'm going to go straight into the second formula that I'd given you guys with, for the angle. But just in case you had forgotten it, all right, because remember the cosine rule is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And right now I want to have, I'm actually working, trying to figure out what cos a is. So I can rearrange this as a squared minus b squared minus c squared equals negative 2bc cos a. And then I could write cos a as a squared minus b squared minus c squared divided by negative 2bc. All right, that's the formula I'm going to be using. Now, remember that um, in some of your formula sheets that you get, it could be written as cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc. Same thing, guys. You can choose whichever one you want to work with. Um, I'm going to work with uh, this one here. All right, so I can say cos A equals A squared minus B squared minus C squared divided by negative 2BC. So cos A equals 7.57 squared minus 6.96 squared minus 7.41 squared, the whole thing divided by negative 2BC which is 6.96 and C is 7.41 which is going to give me cos A equals which gives me cos A is equal to 0 0.44 and I could write that A is equal to inverse cos of 0 0.44 which means theta which is my angle A is going to equal 63.48 degrees so guys, one thing to remember, <clears throat> and I think this is where people make the most amount of mistakes, is when you're actually working out this big calculation in your calculator. Make sure you put a big bracket around this and then put a second bracket at the bottom there. Um, and I think that's what I've seen most of the people making mistakes with. Cool. Let's do another example. So in this question, again, I'm asking you to find theta, but... I've only given you two sides, okay? And I guess the key thing to notice is those two little black lines in the triangle, which means that this you're working with an isosceles triangle. So if this is 7.41, this is also going to be 7.41. So let's go about labeling our sides. We have angle A, side A, we have side B, and we have side C. So we're going to get cos A, equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc. Notice I'm using that second equation. So it doesn't really matter, guys, which one you use as long as you get the signs right. Okay, so we're going to have cos a is equal to 7.41 squared plus 7.41 squared minus 5.94 squared and the whole thing divided by 2 times 7.41 times 7.41 okay which should give us that cos a is equal to cos a should equal to 0.67 and then a could be written as inverse cos of 0 0.67 in this case we're looking at theta folks so theta is 47.25 degrees Okay, cool. That's it for this session, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys understood how to use the cosine rule to find the missing angle. Um, and
continue on with this video series. I think the next one is um, area of a triangle. But yeah, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, pop it in the comments below.